Hello. It's good to see you. Today we are back with this bag of jewelry. We've been working on it for a while. This was one of the really big bags. And I'm happy to tell you that I went to Goodwill today. The last day of the month is always a really good day to go to Goodwill around here. If you have the, um, the discount card, they offer a discount card for $15 a year. And it gives you 10% off all your purchases, except for new items. Um, and on the last day of every month, you get an additional 10% off. So you get 20% off everything, except new stuff. And while I was in there, they had another bag of jewelry and it's a really it looks like a really good bag it, it looks like it has lots of great stuff in it so when we finish this one i think i want to go ahead and start with that one because it, it looks really cool and i want to see what's in it i don't look at them in advance and what i do with the jewelry that i don't keep which is most of it i don't keep i donate it back to local uh charity shops thrift stores to resell okay Let's see. I see a bunch of buttons. Look. It's a... Oh, no way. Oh, no way. Look. I don't know if you saw my video um, that I made the other day about the librarian that wore the owl pendant. It was, it was so similar to this, except that it had rhinestones in the eyes here. It was almost exactly like this. That is so funny. It was just nestled right there. And it was about this size too. And it was just on a, you know, a silver chain. And it had the blue, this is actually just plastic with some paint on it. It's made to look like turquoise. This is a, a cheap pendant, but it's cute though. But yeah, it had blue, like turquoise here and then rhinestone eyes. It looked just like this, almost exactly. Oh, that is so funny. That's so cool. <laughs> That was neat. I didn't expect to see that. Now, I was looking at these buttons. Look at all these buttons. And they're held together with thread, obviously. And then there are these little seed beads on the outside here. It looks like they're all just plain white seed beads. This is a cute necklace. It's not stretchy at all. We have dark blue and then kind of medium blue colored buttons and then these are sort of an ivory color that is a neat a neat little necklace it's just buttons <laughs> and it's all that's it there's no clasp or anything that's really cute that's a neat way to use some buttons nice combination of colors there <laughs> that's cool um here's a little bracelet a little red, white, and blue bracelet. It has some little ladybugs on it. Two ladybug pendants. It's stretchy. Now these are all plastic beads. These are metal. Copyright OTC. Hmm. That's a little copyright symbol and OTC on the back. I don't know what that is. I have no idea. But yeah, little little uh, ladybugs with stars on their backs. It's cute. No clasp. Um, here we have some more shells. Whoops. Well, I just had a bead escape. Here's a barrel. Is this a barrel clasp? No, it's at, ooh, I'm not gonna say what that looks like. <laughs> it's a pendant. Okay, don't go there. Uh, we're gonna put that away. I don't want to touch that. I need hand sanitizer now. <laughs> Ooh, you never know what's gonna be in here. Here is another one of these rings. We found several of these. I think we've already found three or four rings like this. They're just clear plastic little rings. It's yellow and it has little blue swirly things on it. Shells shells everywhere. This is not a necklace. Just want to let y'all know that. This is, um, it's not. It's, it's, I was told that's not a necklace. You could, uh, you could look at it hanging on a doorknob, I guess. 
I remember my mom had a plant hanger. Well, it wasn't seashells, so I think it was like macrame or something. But it makes me think of this plant hanger that she had that was made to where you could rest a, a pot, like a little potted plant in it, and it had the little tassels that hung down like this. I don't know why it makes me think of that. That's cool, though. Oh, this is neat. Here we have, um, oh, it's a short necklace. I thought for a second there it was broken, but then I was looking at this, and this is the adjustable part here, and it has the little hook, and you just hook it anywhere right in here. It's very short, and it's made of plastic beads, you see? It's very pretty. They're all, yeah, they're all plastic, but they look like amber, kind of. Except for these, these look like they were made out of polished cement or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's cute, though. It's a cute little, that's a cute little choker. I like that. Yeah, that's cute. Pumpkin likes it. She's sitting over here next to me, and she just started purring. I don't even know what she's, I don't know what she's purring at. All of a sudden, she just started purring. Oh, this is cool. I just noticed on this hook here, it says Germany. This came from Germany. I wonder if this is, well, it's probably some sort of little vintage something or other. And these beads have little designs on them. Little, like a fan-shaped design on the facets. That's cool. This one has it too. Well, it's just a little, little bit of an etched design in the facets there. That's really neat. Interesting. Okay. Here's a clay star. Sort of an orange color on a piece of navy blue cord. Oops. It's like a little craft that a kid made. Um, oh lord, look at that. <laughs> Good golly. Here is some bauble. There's Jesus. I remember we were talking about him. If you saw the video where I did the show and tell. I guess that is, is it Jesus? It's like a tenfold Jesus. Uh, A and A, China. So it says on the back. It's plastic. I, I, I wondered if it was Willie Nelson. I'm not trying to be. No, I'm pretty sure it's Jesus. I didn't know. Are these on the same cord? Do we have a, a diamond and Jesus together? I think we do. I think these go together. Now, why would you put Jesus and a diamond on the same? This can't be right. Why would you wear these together? Oh, wait a minute. I think they're just tangled. They're made out of the same stuff. Well, I don't know. They're t I think these are two separate necklaces. This one looks like it's been worn a lot. It's kind of worn on the sides, the little edges there. Kind of worn. We'll leave them together. But I, th I think these are two separate necklaces. They've just somehow gotten tangled together. I'm not really sure. Okay. More shells. Mixed in with some plastic beads. These are little really dark brown plastic beads. I used to love to play with these as a kid and make little necklaces out of them. Here's some more. They're the same kind. These are, the elastic is a little tighter on this bracelet here. Here's some more plastic bracelets. Little clear multifaceted plastic beads. These are orange and these are kind of a pinkish color. And a really pretty red necklace. Ooh. Oh, I like this. This is nice. These are plastic beads with a little silver plastic bead in between. 
and a small silver lobster claw clasp and about three inches of adjustable chain. That's pretty. Very simple, but very, very pretty. I like it. <laughs> it's very smooth. Alright, shells. Come on. Good grief. Well, goodness. I didn't realize there was that much. Here's another little uh, patriotic bracelet with the little... This one just has one ladybug on it. More little shells. These are tiny. These are smaller than the others, I believe. I feel like I'm in a gift shop at the beach every time I see these. <laughs> they always have tons of these in there. Oh, what in the world? Why would you do this? Okay, here we have a, a necklace. It's not stretchy. Oh, there's another ring. These beads are green and they're clear and multifaceted. And then for no particular reason, we have strung in here among them some plastic pearls. They're pretty though. They have a nice shine to them. Although it's chipped a little bit, but it doesn't really show. I guess they ran out of these beads and just added those. I don't, I don't know. I don't understand. That make a cute little choker though. Wear it like that. It'll be alright. Now we found a couple of these rings before in this bag. This is a really neat idea. Check this out. Ooh, Ooh this one is fancy. Now this has a, sh a shell. It's like mother of pearl behind it. And then we have this purple plastic sparkly thing on top. And then for the ring itself, it's just a piece of elastic. See? Oh, that's cute. And they're very comfortable because it's just a little piece of elastic and it's stretchy so you could wear it on different fingers if you wanted to. This ring I bought on eBay. <laughs> it's it's not like a real, it's, it's costume jewelry basically. <laughs> but it's, yeah, they're super comfortable. That is cute. It matches my nail polish a little bit, sort of. We'll put it back in the crack bag. There. Um, here's another plastic beaded necklace. This one, this is a vintage beaded necklace. We have black plastic beads and there's a knot between each one. And this one has a little round clasp right here. You don't see those much anymore. And no adjustable chain. You just have to wear it this length. I don't really think you could double that over as a choker unless you had a very tiny neck. You might be able to. But yeah, I, I love necklaces like this. They're just so simple. They're very simple and elegant. And they look good with anything, really. You can wear them with everything. And I have quite a few necklaces like this. Um, most of the ones I have are on elastic and they're shorter. This isn't really a length I wear very often, but I have some shorter ones that I wear pretty frequently. Here is a wooden beaded necklace. I want to see that right there. Oh, I will see it right now. Here is a little stretchy bracelet with happy little yellow beads. They look like sunshine. Oh, it's tight though. It's like a child's bracelet. It's quite tight. I don't know if I'd want to wear that. That It's a little bit too tight. I think that would get on my nerves. It's cute though. I love these cheerful yellow beads. I have a yellow beaded stretchy bracelet, but the beads are larger. I like these little beads. These are happy little beads. If I had more, I would take it apart and just make it a little larger. I don't have any more. Um, oh goodness, this is a long necklace. I see it doubled over. It has a sticker on it. This was made in Taiwan. 
and I may be wrong, but this may be a vintage necklace with the round clasp and made in Taiwan. You don't see that. I mean, you still see it, but it was a lot more common back in the 80s and 90s. That's pretty. Look. All these wooden beads. They're all different colors. You have green and brown. Kind of a reddish color. Brown, green, brown, red, brown, green. It makes me think of those the little beaded necklaces, you know, like the you'd have the little box of beads in preschool and the string. You sit there and put them together. <laughs> it makes me think of those beads. And then you'd have to take them apart and put the beads back in the box. Makes me think of that. Oh, I see a bracelet. Check this. Is this a bracelet? It is. It's made to be kind of like suede, but I think it's faux suede. And it has two buttons, so you can wear it on this, or two snaps. You can wear it on this one, or this one. I like the design. Look, it's like lace. It's really pretty. And that would be very comfortable, too. It's extremely lightweight. It would be easy to put on and take off because it's just a snap right there. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Huh, little flowers. That's neat. Oh god, he went with the whole stack of balls. Let me get some of this loose stuff out of here. We have some earrings. Oh, that's a shiny one right there. It's like chrome. Here's a little plastic pearl. What in the world? I don't know what that is. Some kind of little bead. There's a whole bunch of loose stuff here. Here's an earring. Sparkly plastic purple thingy. Look at the... It's gonna be an avalanche of balls when I get this out. Oh my god, it's like an octopus, look. <laughs> it's like a, I don't know. Good lord, I thought this was going to be a simple little necklace, but it's branching out all over the place. There, ooh, here's a neat earring, a cluster of little pearls, all together. How in the world? Good grief. It's like a molecular structure. Something, I don't, hang on. These balls overlap one another. That could be uncomfortable. Or so I hear. Look at, ooh. Wow, that is amazing. Look at this, it's like a, it's like a bunch of cherries or something. You have these strands here. They're just freewheeling like they... Are they supposed to do that? I guess they are. So you have all these links and it's all linked together and you have these big old dingle balls that hang down here. And then little ones. And these two are just flopping. They're not attached to anything. They're just whooping around wherever they want to go. They're, you can push them down in there though. I think they're supposed to be attached. I don't know. This is a very heavy necklace. It has a surprisingly small silver lobster claw clasp and about two inches of adjustable chain. That is definitely a statement necklace right there. My goodness. Now if I were going to wear a necklace like this, I would wear it with just a solid color. Um, I would probably go with either just like a plain white top or black. No patterns, no designs, no other colors because you want this to be the focal point. You want everybody to look at the necklace. You don't want to take attention away from this because this is amazing. Oh, that's really nice. <laughs> that's pretty. And that's going to come down pretty far if you see how long it is. So it's not going to be up close to the neck. It's going to hang down a bit. So you would want to take that into consideration when you're looking at the neckline of your top or dress that you're going to wear it with. You want to make sure that it's going to display this properly. 
well, I thought, I see, I saw this part and I thought it was just going to be a plain little plastic pearl necklace. And then all this came out. You never know what you're going to find in here. You could beat somebody to death with a necklace like that. It's something. More plastic bracelets. Ooh, this one's colorful. I'll get all the pretty plastic beads. It's a little stretchy. And a blue one. These little knobby beads. I don't really like these as a bracelet because these, the little knobby beads kind of push into your skin. It's kind of annoying. Um, ooh, here's a big half of a plastic pearl. There's some dried glue on the back. So at one point it was attached to something. Here's a green bead. I think we found some of these last time. That'd make a cute little pair of earrings. Um, ooh, that's kind of a big bracelet. It could be an anklet. Now these beads, the gray ones are made of glass or something. The blue ones, I think, are plastic. Pretty combination. And then you have these little silver beads in between. But it's, yeah, it's kind of big and stretchy. That's cool. Here is a plastic earring here. I don't think we've seen the other one like that. Oh, look at this earring. It's called on this thing. It's a clip-on earring and it's a slice of watermelon. <laughs> that's cute. Oh, that's perfect for summertime. You know, I'm going to hang on to that. If I find the other one, I would wear that. I <laughs> wear it on my finger. <laughs> I haven't seen the other one. It feels like it's made out of some sort of resin or plastic. The red here has a nice pearly finish to it. <laughs> this is perfect for summer. Now here is another oops, here is another one of these seed necklaces. Gosh, gosh, this one's long. Look at that. Now these look like little apple seeds. And I don't know what these are, but they're, they're seeds of some sort. And I, I think they've been dyed, maybe. Here's a blue one. And the rest of them are kind of a grayish color. That's a pretty dark blue one right there. But yeah, it's just a, like a necklace just made of a bunch of seeds. Somebody's been eating a lot of apples. <laughs> That's a lot of apples right there. Look at that. Gosh. And another ring. Oh, here's this is cute. It has it's like a little tic tac toe square and a red heart. These are cute. <laughs> See. Yeah, we've found quite a few of these little rings in here. Oh, here's a cute bracelet. Look at this. These are made of little plastic discs. Here's some pink ones and blue and white and light blue with a little light blue fabric tassel. That'd probably be really comfortable. It's it's very smooth, very round. Very cool. <laughs> that is cute. I like it. And here's a bracelet that is stretchy and it's made of plastic pearls. They're kind of heavy, too. These are good quality um, faux pearls. You know, faux pearls come in different qualities. You, you know, the, you get the little cheap, lightweight ones. There's some right there, actually. <laughs> I tried to pull them out, but they're wedged back there. These, um, these are really good quality faux pearls. They have a really nice weight to them. But again, it's very small. I think maybe this was made for a child or just a small... Somebody with smaller wrists than mine. That's just a little too tight for me. I don't think I would like that. It's nice though. Here we have a little cellophane bag with something in it. Let me pop this open and we'll take a look at it. I don't know what it is. It's kind of heavy. Yeah, 
it is. It has a metal pendant that's kind of heavy. Okay, so it has a black cord to it. Oh, it's a dog. It's like a... I want to say like a Saint Bernard or something. I don't, I don't know what kind of dog that is, but it's heavy. That's a heavy pendant. I don't know if that's pewter or what, but it's, it's pretty heavy. It's got his little tongue out. <laughs> it makes me think of a Saint Bernard, but that might not be what it is. I don't know. One of my neighbors has a Saint Bernard. That dog is huge. They go out for walks. I see them pretty often. That's a massive dog. He's just as friendly as he can be, though. He's always drooling. <laughs> it's funny. There's enough. Oh, there are several of these. And I can't really tell from here if it's the same. Look, here's another one. Well, I'll pop these open and we'll see what they are. Okay. Well, I still can't tell. It's the same cord, and it's heavy. Yeah, it's the same. This is the same dog. It's the same pendant. And it has a little barrel clasp on it. That is a heavy pendant. I can't get over how heavy that is. So that one is the same. I should give one to my neighbor. I don't know if he'd wear it, but... Well, I'll get it back in there later. This one's probably the same, too. Looks like it is. Get off of me. Yep, it's. Well, we have three identical pendants. <laughs> okay. I wonder how somebody came to have three of these. is pretty. This is another one of the little plastic rings and it's black and it has like a red and white little plant looking thing. That is cool. Oh, I like that. That's neato. I like this one. That's really cool. We found we found a ton of these little rings in here. Um Sometimes you reach a point with these bags where everything is all clumped together and you just have to pull at it. Here is a weird thing. Okay, I'm looking at the size of it. These are little discs of mother of pearl. Little shells. Little round discs. Oh, that one's broken. And it has a medium-sized, small to medium silver lobster claw clasp. No adjustable chain. I'm guessing that this is an anklet. Looks like one of the discs is oh, missing. I would guess. I mean, it's obviously not a necklace. And it's too big to be a bracelet. I mean, I guess it's some kind of anklet or something. I don't know, but it looks like it got a little messed up right there. Yeah, right there. Oh, 
Oh, here's one of those little braided bracelets. This is pretty. It's pink, fuchsia, and white. Look at that. Look at that cool pattern. It's very small. I think this must have been for a child. You can see where it's knotted together right there and braided. That's pretty. That's really pretty. I like that. Hmm. Um, oh god. It's like a pile of green spaghetti. Look. What on earth? Oh lord, it has tentacles. Look. It wouldn't surprise me if I pulled a literal octopus out of one of these bags. Now, I love the color of these seed beads. Look. Really pretty light green. And up here we have these pretty wooden beads. I guess that's the back. Oops. It has a knot. I feel like I should put some pasta sauce on it. What kind of... Is it supposed to be like that? Good grief. I don't know. I think it is supposed to be like that, but these pieces have gotten all messed up. Oh, wait a minute. I got it. Good gracious, this thing is long. This is fabulous. I love this. Oh, look at this. Wow. And look at all these seed beads. And they come down in little tentacles. <laughs> Gosh. And on the end, you have a, a slightly larger green seed bead of the same color on the ends. And they're just tied together in a knot right here. And that makes this super duper long necklace. That's beautiful. It's long too. My word. I like that sound. <laughs> it's very satisfying. So yeah, that's a really long necklace. Here is a multi-stranded little lavender something or other. Here is the medium-sized sort of gold lobster claw clasp. A lot of the fake gold has been rubbed off. Has about an inch and a half of adjustable chain and it's wrapped around something. Ooh, it has a cool thing hanging from it. But it's bound up in a clump of stuff. Ooh, I see cool glasses. <laughs> Look at this necklace. It has it's like cat's eye glasses. Oh, this is cute. But the chain has gotten all tangled. It has a tiny little gold lobster claw clasp and no adjustable chain. We're going to undo that. And usually that helps to undo the tangle. It might help. It might not. No pun intended. Um, how in the world did he get all wound up like that? This is an adorable necklace. There. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Little pink cat's eye glasses with white polka dots. And this tiny lobster claw clasp. A very delicate chain. <laughs> Those are cute. That is an adorable necklace. Now these are some of the cheap faux pearls that I was telling you about. These are very lightweight pearls. They have a nice shine to them though. It's very nice. From a distance, you're not going to be able to tell that they're, you know, 
less, you know, not as good of a quality as, like, say, these right here. They don't really look terribly different, but these, these are much heavier. That's a better quality. But these are fun. These are fun to wear with anything. Okay, one more thing. What should be the one more thing? This must be another... I don't know, I guess it's an anklet. It's made out of glass beads. A pretty amber color. I would probably put that on another piece of elastic. This one... It just feels like it would break if you pulled on it too much. I don't want that to be the last thing. I don't want this to be the last thing either. What is going to be the last thing? I'll check these out. I like the paracord bracelet. Look at the child's bracelet. Oh, it's tiny. I, I can't even get it on my hand. It's pretty though, look. Beautiful. Got a little scratch on it. That's cute. I would have loved this as a kid. Oh, I would have worn it every day. And here we have a paracord, kind of like a rainbow paracord bracelet with a fast text buckle right here. You just squeeze it and it pops open. Looks like the cord got a little messed up right here. But you could probably, let's see pull it around this way and oh that's all it is they were I think they were attached right here somehow yeah that that would be easy to fix those are that's really cute I like that so I think that's gonna do it for today we still have quite a bit in here but I think we could probably finish this in the next video and then after that we will go on to the the bag that I got today and it looked like there was some really cool stuff in there. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what's in the next bag too. And, and the rest of this stuff too. It looks like there's some cool stuff in there as well. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing all these cool things. And I will see you again really soon.